again over mid. As I'm surprised the CM and the Tusk haven't made a rotation just yet. So. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Missing first blood, they get the cur is the venge with the bounty hunter. They get a look towards mid. There's the magic missile with the light strike array. Comes in, and then bounty hunter gets a nice orb of venom hit. Slows down Shadow Fiend, and finishing off is the Lena. And that's how first blood went down. Did you imagine that all in your head? Did you like that? It was nice. So there's the Lucent Beam as well as the Wave of Terror coming in from Q. They do have the Magic Missile to follow it up. They start to hit away at Dark. Dark's going to ultimately get blocked by this Bounty Hunter. Overwhelming odds is used, but there's another Lucent Beam. And Baboka gets the kill on Dark. So 2-0 in favor of the raise is possible to hit on OP, but OP does have double damage. A nice Light Strike Array could cause some problems. There's the Snowball in. They do get the Ice Shards out. And now getting very low is OP, and there is the Light Strike Array getting low is Tusk. But, and there's three here for Ehome, and they'll get themselves their first kill. Let's see, what level is he? He's only level two, so he does have the Shuriken Toss as well as this nice Shadow Walk. But, we'll see if he can get involved in a couple of more kills. There's the Snowball coming through with the Ice Shards, but coming over with the Shuriken Toss is Baboka. They get the Stampede out, and now they look to turn it around as they've got Q. There's the Magic Missile coming through. One more shot would do it. They get the Dragon Slave of OP. And get the kill on Tusk. They turn around their aggression. And let's see if they can go in on Baboka as they do walk in. And hopefully they have Dust. There it is. Now there's the overwhelming odds. And there's the press. The attack should be a dual win. And it will be. But there's the Stampede with the Hoof Stomp. Double Edge coming through and obliterates Dark on the back end. Lucent Beam now thrown forward by Burning. Tusk in a whole bunch of trouble. And another Double Edge. It's a double kill from XXS. And it's a two-for-one trade in favor of IG. And then maybe we see this IG net worth really expand. So now Magic Missile Lucent Beam flies through. They use the Eclipse. They're trying to chase down this Shadow Fiend. He's running back. Baboka is here and trying to set up maybe... So Dark only has 10 dual damage. We take a look actually up top as there it is. I mean, a lot of trouble is this Bounty Hunter. And there's the raise with Wrong. They get a kill again on Bounty Hunter, who is still yet to be level six. Tier 1 tower. So the smoke does pressure them back. But there's the Glyph in XXS. He does have that Blink Dagger. So really has to be careful is Dark. We take a look down low as now they're going in again on Baboka. They get the kill. Still not level 6, and they will song and TP out for Jade's down. Wrong, looking for something. He gets the Crystal Nova. And let's see what they can get with the Frostbite. They get it down, and there it is. Hooded Defiance is popped, and the Stampede will find him in escape with just over 100 health. Meanwhile, up top Q gets the kill on Dark. We haven't really taken a look at that Naga in quite some time, who has the Sacred Relic. So getting very close to that Radiance, and they really need to make something happen against JJJ. And now he's under a Sentry Ward, and again, Baboka will fall. Not before getting track out on the Crystal Maiden, but it doesn't mean all too much. So coming out next is going to be the Heart for Centaur. Q. Just has Tranquils in that Wind Lace. Now coming over, they're going to use the Stampede. They get the swap out into the Hoof Stomp as well as the Light Strike Array. And the Laguna Blade will grant them the kill. Meanwhile, Burning will find a kill onto the Crystal Mate. Shadow Fiend and Tusk are nearby. Baboka with the Shadow Walk is going to spot the Tusk. They're still continuing to go in deep. There it is. Blink, Hoof Stomp, Double Edge. There's the Magic Missile. He's tracked up. And the first track kill is there for IG. Q's going to get credit for that kill. Laguna Blade. Just wipes the tusk off the map, and it'll be another two for nil. Before I go around the horn again as we take a look at this tusk, just has boots, crystal maiden. The same can be said, but it is tranquils. Now, actually, OP, they're looking for the kill. They do get the dust out on Baboka, but it's not going to matter as the light strike array and the Laguna blade and track come out yet again for IG. They get another kill. So we take a look at the net at 
14 charges, so doing pretty well with it. As they're now grouping up as four. Looking to get themselves... Oh, I was going to catch the end of that. Up top, XS, XXS dies, and IG, they're looking bottom. They're looking to get a tier two. And they've got the Glaives bouncing around, and there's the track out on Dark, but they don't have the Blink hoof stomp. and now coming in is Dark. He's blinked on forward. He might have put himself in a little bit of trouble. There's the Lucian Beam as well as the Eclipse. That is not the right move. Blink way too aggressively. There's the song. They're trying to turn it around. They don't line it up with a Requiem of Souls. It will be Q who sacrifices his life for the greater good of OP, who may not get out, just gets pushed forward by those Ice Shards, and actually does escape. So it's a two-for-one trade. That's the Centaur. I think they were trying to ping out Burning to get a rotation, but... The Crystal Maiden not going to get there in time for the Frostbite. Crystal Nova and possibly the... Oh, we take a look over mid. There it is. Blink, hook, stop, magic missile, track, double edge. They get the kill over on the Tusk. And getting out with the Shadow Blade will be the Shadow Net Worth lead on the side of IG. With that, they're going to look towards taking a Tier 2. There's the double edge with the Light Strike Ray. Cleaning up this Creep Wave. Cleaning up this tower. And they push their second Tier 2 down already for IG. Just 22 minutes into the game. So going to be looking for that Octarine Core JJJ. Does have the Boots of Travel and the Radiance, so they're going to be able to push out well. I... Trying to scout out these heroes of Ehon Keen and looking to take advantage as they have the Blink Dagger out on Centaur if they want to come in with the Blink Hoof Stomp. They get the track out, and there it is with the Shuriken Tosses. The Light Striker Rave strikes down wrong, and Baboka... Gets the track, they get the kill. It's now eight Bloodstone charges a moment. But Ehom, they really need to find a way to stop this Roche from happening. The Ice Shards are thrown forward again. They're going to try to get the Blink in with the Blade Mail in the duel. There's the duel out on Burning. There's the Laguna Blade to blow up this Legion Commander. And Burning's still alive. They've taken out the Legion Commander. They get the song. And now here it is, the BKB. They're charging up the Requiem right over the Centaur. But they do get the Aegis out and snatched on the Shadow Fiend. And it's only a two for one. There's the blank hoof stop double edge out on the Crystal Maiden. Now they maybe look to get a kill on the Shadow Fiend, but he's got that Aegis. And now they're looking to get a kill on the Centaur. JJJ gets a killing spree, getting the kill on Baboka. They get the Ensnare. There's the Light Striker A. Gonna miss on Shadow Fiend, getting very low is, X is XXS. And the Magic Missile will be thrown forward. And it's a three for two trade between these two teams. We take a look at the fight recap, 1,700 gold going along that came out. That was followed up by the Requiem of Souls. So actually, Baboka, now the shards. There's the snowball. Walrus punch, another duel. That should be an easy win, and there it is. So walking right into the hands of Ehom Keen is this bounty hunter, giving up even more duel damage to... Let's take a look. X XXS might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the ensnare as well as the overwhelming odds. They get the stampede. He's not out just yet. The Radiance continuing to burn. There's the Snowball with the Walrus Punch. They're locking him down long enough. There's the Ice Shards that rooted again and now just going to try and TP out. But there's the Song to stop him. So they end the Song. They put down the duel with the Blade Mail. And even that second heart, I mean the heart inside his chest and the heart item, is not enough to save his life as they get a kill out on XXS. And 1,400 net worth going their way. In this game thus far at 2, 6, and 3, but has managed to accumulate 48 dual damage, which is alright. And now they head back over OP. He's invisible. They do get the Laguna Blade and get the kill. So the Light Strike Array is enough with the Laguna Blade to get the kill. And now CM, you may have shown yourself a little bit too far. And now another kill goes the way of OP. But there it is with three heroes here for Ehom. They will destroy OP and they'll at least get one in return immediately back up. Thank you, Bloodstone. It's the major perks of a Bloodstone. Major perks. So meanwhile, up top, Burning is going to push that tier two. They're here with all five heroes. 
and they are making this an easy push on the tier three they take down the tier three there it is with the song can they set up a requiem doesn't look as though they're going to be doing that they're just using it defensively which in my opinion is a mistake they've now used it defensively they have no more song to really lock down these heroes of ig and they're going to immediately pop the aegis of this shadow fiend so they don't use it too well and there's the snowball in from this tusk who immediately gets tracked up. There's the Laguna Blade with the Eclipse coming through. There's the duel. It's not going to be enough. They lose the Shadow Fiend. They'll lose the Legion Commander. So three are dead. There it is. They'll get another in the Crystal Maiden. They swap back an Illusion Naga. And they lose four on Ehome Keen. Just, a, in my opinion, a misplay with the Song Impossible Requiem. They're going to lose the top set of racks. They'll lose mid-tier three. They're going to lose the racks here too. As Burning, he just pushes way too fast. There it is, Blink, Hoof Stomp, and now the Light Strike Array will follow it up. They take out Shadow Fiend again. It was a buyback into a dieback. Now at 83 seconds, wrong. You're in trouble. You're dead as well. And four still sit dead for the side of Ehome Keen. IG will lose Baboka. They'll lose the two. Ending the game on stream. And then I'm going to cast that last series on Beyond the Summit 3. It'll get hosted here until Manila Master starts. I'm your caster, B Cop. At BCOP92, BKOP92 on Twitter. Follow me there. Follow me on Twitch, Gaming for Gelt, and all that. And, um, you know, know what, I'm, know, what, know what I'm casting. Know what I'm doing. I don't know. I talk on Twitter about random things. So let's take a look. Fight recap. I was told.